Hi everyone. Uh, we will discuss about the uh, submap. Uh, how to create the submap and how we can use this. So uh, for creating the submap, uh, uh, let's create here create map, and uh, we need to provide our name to this. And uh, the name we are going to provide. Uh, the when the work first, let's see here. Firstly, when workflow is being launched, it's going to divide it as per the department. So after department, it's going to this. Uh, you can say the department head. Or after that, uh, it's going to the. Uh, CEO, you can go. Or the general manager GM. So I'm uh, calling as a sub map, it's a GM. Uh, just click on that. OK. And uh, let's see, the one new uh, sub map is going to create, go, going to create it. It's created uh, now. And uh, if you are going to select, click this drop down, let's see, workflow main map is there that we have built already. Journal manager, Babo, uh, these two are already there. Terminated and mall function. Just saving this. And uh, we can uh, check here. So for here, I'm going to create a, uh, I'm going to create a new activity step. And for this activity step, uh, I'm going to I'm going to create a new uh, you can say oh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to create a new activity step for this activity step. Uh, uh, for this activity step, you can see I'm going to create a new work queue it's here. Not going to create a new, just selecting the already selecting uh, already created work queue. So I'm going to select this as a testing. So just put this routing here and uh, the parameter. I'm going to select all. And uh, put as a read only. Okay. Uh, I think that's fine. But and uh, I'm going to on the main map. And here you can see there's a third step is there. It's a sub map. So I'm going to uh, drag and drop each here. And if you are, if I'm going to click this sub map, then uh, GM sub map you can put. Okay, and select the sub map, select the GM. And uh, if we're going to check with the routing till that we have not created any routing for this uh, where it is going to the next, because it's that is showing the blank is currently custom attributes. You can create the custom attributes here. Distribution, description is also there. GM submap or something you can put here. Okay. And uh, if I'm going to just double click here, the GM submap will open here. See. And uh, if I'm going to click uh, this uh, activity, it's not activity, it's GM uh, step is there. So in the work I'm selecting as a testing. In the parameter, I'm selecting uh, this as only uh, read only mode. Routing, it's not there till that. Assignment, uh, we are not assigning any parameter. Deadline, also we are not assigning any, we are not putting any deadline uh, till that. Custom attributes, uh, we have not any custom attributes also. Descriptions uh, and advanced. 
in the advance also we are not going to select any okay so i'm going to go to back one step so this is the uh, sub map here we can call the uh, call the basically sub map on uh, on where we are putting putting some different logics are there okay so sub sub map we are uh, uh, we can use this because uh, the workflow is going uh, workflow is is the complexity is going to the low because if the same if the sub map uh, thing we can also add it in the main map then it's going to the complex okay because still that we are having some uh, six to seven step is still there but uh, in the in the real time workflow it's not not going to the six to seven it's maybe some hundred two hundred steps are also there so uh, sub map creating is the best way on by using that we are going to uh, it's it's we are going to let less complete uh, let's complicate it to this uh, workflow okay we can also change this name if you want and uh, air this and you you can also uh, create any uh, sub map is here and call any different sub map from this sub map means it's the instead sub map you can say sub map to sub map uh, i think uh, that's uh, that's fine guys uh, for today uh, okay the one thing also uh, i need to tell if i'm going to select this hr so in the hr tell that we have not creating any routing so routing means uh, when the because when the workflow is being launched and uh, uh, the employee who launched this is selecting as a hr or an, any other different like that account uh, is selecting so on that time hr is need to approve or reject that item so for that i need to create a two items uh, two responses i need to put approve or reject so this thing you need to create on a every uh, step on uh, on means on that uh, steps you want to you you are using the uh, work queue for the participant other than like that component step or the sub map step uh, this is the uh, you know this is not going to create it is only using on where means it is only using on the activity step you can see i'm just opening this clicking by clicking on a double click click on a routing and here i'm going to <coughs> in the, sorry just clicking on a reject approve and reject and uh, again here so uh by using this routing so means was the user is going to means hr uh, manager is going to approve or reject the item so what is the effect of this so in this condition when you are going to click this routing uh conditional row data field not a data field uh all response is as approve and clicking on add means uh from this hr it's going to the component only when he approve this other than not in this condition all approve okay uh we can also uh we can also check with the what is uh what is if we are uh if the hr or the account is going to reject it that will that is also uh, we'll see in the next session okay uh, yeah thank you thank you so much guys